It was winter. A thick blanket of snow lay over the island of Sodor. All the engines were busy carrying passengers and goods from station to station. Sometimes they need to warn people they are coming. So steam engines blow their whistles. And diesel engines sound their electric horns. One day, Percy took some troublesome trucks to the smelter's yard. He whistled hello to Harry and Bert. But Harry and Bert laughed. Call that a whistle, mocked Bert. Just listen to this. Diesels can do everything better than steamies, they sneered. My whistle's as good as your horns, puffed Percy crossly. Just you wait and see. Percy practiced loud whistling. He blew louder. And louder. And louder. At last, he was ready to surprise Ari and Bert. Took an extra big puff and blew as loudly as loudly as he could. Ari and Bert were surprised. I told you my whistle is as good as your silly old horns, laughed Percy. Now that he had a super loud whistle, Percy couldn't wait to use it again. When he saw Thomas in the sidings, he took a big puff and blew as loud as he could. Thomas was cross. That wasn't funny, he sniffed. Percy didn't notice. He was too busy having fun. Percy saw Bertie the bus. He took another big puff and Bertie skidded all over the road. Percy, he cried crossly. But Percy had already chuffed away. That evening, Thomas told Percy to stop surprising his friends. You made Bertie skid across the road, and my freight cars got damaged, said Thomas. Percy was sorry. I won't do it again, he wailed. I promise. But the next day, Percy was bringing the milk train from the dairy. I wish I could have one more loud whistle, he said to himself. He couldn't see any people or engines. There was something else Percy couldn't see. Trevor was taking food to the farm animals. With snow on the ground, they couldn't find any grass to eat. Percy took the biggest puff of all and blew. Trevor was so surprised that his trailer bumped into a pile of logs. A log fell and rolled down the hill. hill. Snow stuck to the log. It turned into a snowball. The snowball got bigger and bigger. Percy was enjoying himself. Until he saw the snowball. Oh no! cried Percy. Luckily, no one was hurt, but his driver was cross. Now I will have to go for help, he said. Percy waited in the cold. His funnel was freezing and his axles were shivering. At last, Thomas arrived with Sir Topham Hat. He was very cross indeed. Whistles are for safety, he told Percy, not for playing games. 
You must only use your whistle when the time is right. Y yes, sir, shivered Percy. And he promised to use his whistle properly from now on. The next day, Percy was a very quiet engine indeed. He didn't use his whistle once. But as Percy came out of the tunnel, he gasped. A big snowdrift had slipped onto the tracks. Percy heard Thomas. He was heading straight for the snowdrift. If he did not stop in time, he would have an accident. I must warn him, cried Percy. Percy took the biggest puff he had ever taken. And he blew the loudest whistle he had ever blown. Something must be wrong, cried Thomas. And he applied his brakes just in time. Cinders and ashes, he gasped. Thank you, Percy. That evening, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. Well done, Percy, he boomed. You blew your whistle at the right time and saved Thomas from an accident. You are a really useful engine, and a safe one. Percy was so proud his firebox tingled. Percy uses his whistle safely now, and all his friends are glad to see him.